Hey, thanks for stopping into the Anglers All Fly Tying Studio. My name is Daryl Akins, and we're going to tie a Paragon today, a fire starter Paragon. Check it out. You'll see here what I'm going to do is situate my slotted bead up front. We're going to start our thread. This is just some pretty standard uh, materials on this here. We're using 70 denier fluorescent orange and UTC. I do like the UTC in this. It does lay flat. We will have a mini silhouetted carrot that we can taper off of to cut back down here, which will be the underlying silhouette of our paradigm. So you can see we're kind of already tapering. So we're gonna start off with some CDL, Coque de Leon, just a beautifully speckled UV feather here. And I dig a pinch wrap in these situations because I can kind of control what's going on with that feather. When you trim this out, try and trim in front of the collar where the collar's gonna go so you don't build too much up into that. And we're gonna pretty much do some wraps forward and stop just shy of that. And we're tied in and ready to go. Next, we're gonna use some, some flash. This is what the body is gonna be. The underbody is the fluorescent orange and the overbody is gonna be some flash. There's no reason for me to work on the silhouette or go back and forth and clean anything up because I have to wrap this flash in and we can do that while we wrap the flash in. A little consolidation move. I'm gonna go back right in front of the tail, get my flash out of the way, and then really wanna make sure that I'm efforting minimal wraps and keeping things clean. I don't need to go all the way up to the front here because we're gonna be able to fill this up at the end with our hot spot. So I wanna make sure that I stop just shy of that and I'll taper back down not looking for bulk, I'm just looking to make sure I have a good solid base of color so the underbody shows through with the flash. All right, now we'll wrap up the front and get ready to tie our flash in. So you can half hitch here, just up behind the bead, and you can certainly take this and wrap it around using your rotary vise, which can be an extremely easy way to do this. However, if you don't have a rotary and you want to kind of figure out how to wrap this body, I'm a big fan of turning it over upside down and just basically do the old handoff. And you can go back and forth over this and get the same wrap and the same job done without having to worry about having a rotary vise. All I'm doing is one hand to the other and handing it off. When I get up to the front, I can come back around, take a look at it. Now, because this is a small piece of flash, and I'm gonna give everyone on the rotary side what it's gonna look like if you guys did it with the wrap, I double up this flash. Remember, it's very translucent, it's not laying a lot of body down, and it gives us the contrast that we're looking for once we're done. So, once you have everything up at the front, we're just gonna kinda of crisscross the thread in the flash, I'm going to come up and capture that. Not a lot of wraps, I just capture twice and I'm going to cut flush. Whenever you're cutting stuff, material thread on a paradigm body, the closer you are, the better off and the smoother your body will be. So sharp scissors can very much be your friend in that situation. So we're going to be done with the flow orange here. We're not going to get too excessive with our wraps. We're going to do a whip finish. I'm going to cut my thread as close as I can. And then we're gonna come in with our hotspot thread, which is gonna, again, be the same Uni, our UTC 70, but this time it's gonna be the Flow Fire Orange. Now, a little tip here. I don't wanna cut my thread off on the outside of this hotspot, because then I'm gonna have possibly a little nub of thread there that I wanna deal with. So take your thread back toward the bead head and cut it off closer to the bead head. That way, if you happen to have a nub of thread, it'll cover up with your hotspot. Once you're in, that's it. We're going to do two whip finishes. And that's our hot spot. And then I'm in behind my bead. I can cut nice and flush. And that's going to be our fly minus our UV loving. So we're going to do a little UV here. This is Solares Bone Dry. And I am going to get as much as I can off the brush. I don't want to have a ton moving around on this. The body is tapered perfectly. We have a, we're just going to kind of coat this and paint it up. And what we're gonna do now is reinforce that body with as little UV as possible. All right, 
Okay, so now we have this little tiny slot hiding right there. And we wanna fill that up. And if we don't fill it up, it's gonna be hard to kinda of like have our husk or our wing back visible. So I take a little bit of bone dry, not a lot, just a little. And I kinda of just try and dab a little drop in there, there we go. And if you tip your vise upside down, it's not gonna run everywhere on you. You fill that up, hit it from below, and that should fill up that little slot. I'm gonna use nail polish. You can absolutely use uh, a uh, Sharpie marker as well. There's, there's, there's no right or wrong here. I do like the nail polish. I do find it a little more durable. Try and get as much off the brush as you can so you can kind of control what you're gonna do, you know, you know, drips, and just do a, one of those. Now, I mentioned earlier, if you wanna do a little exaggerated wing back, all you're gonna do is take a little tiny dollop of some medium viscosity UV from Solares. And we're gonna make a little dollop on the back side of that and then hit it again with the black and add some depth. So we're gonna go ahead and leave everything alone except for that one little gap there. I'm gonna do a drop here and I'm gonna roll my bodkin to take some of that back. And then use gravity to get things where you want it to go. Now, because everything is already on top and opaque underneath. So that there, there it is. That is the Firestarter Paradigone. It's a fully mill pattern. We have that in the bins right now, and we have the materials in stock on the other side of the store. So come on in, visit us, uh, tie them up or buy them up.